good morning to all we are discussing or already already we have discussed about the regular expression the finite automata now in the uh, today's lecture we are going to discuss the new topic uh, that is nothing but the grammar the context free grammar and the languages so in this particular unit uh, we have to discuss the introduction of context free grammar what uh, uh, what is the definition of context uh, formal definition of the context free grammar the notation used for the cfg uh, most uh, commonly it is called as the cfg that is nothing but your context free grammar the languages given or the defined by this cfg it is called as the context free languages cfl they are called as the cfl context free languages the derivation how you can derive the grammar then uh, there is ambiguity in the cfg how to remove the ambiguity and simplification of the grammar the normal forms comes to hierarchy the regular and final topic is nothing but your regular grammar and equivalence of the regular grammar with our the uh, very simple uh, context free the languages uh, let's see uh, one by one so first topic is nothing but the grammar so as you know that uh, what is the importance of grammar in the language right so uh, for example if you consider if you consider a, any in, uh, your natural language your english language for example so english language has the 32 alphabets or characters we can say that so a capital a capital b capital c up to z as well as small a b c d up to z right so all these alphabets are there now or these characters are there so together so with the help of this character so i can have uh, my english language i can have a b c d or i can have capital a capital b capital c capital d so from this character from this character we are going to form a word we are going to form a word means we are combining we are combining two three characters and we are forming a word we are forming a word right say for uh, for example for example uh, see uh, for example p u n e say for example pune is one word we have formed here and this is nothing but one character p second character u s third is n and fourth is e so p u n e it has some so see here the arrangement of arrangement of characters or arrangement of words uh, it is given here p u n e so this carries some meaning this particular word it carries some meaning right so and the and and after this word we are going to form a sentence we are going to form a sentence combining so a combination of words we are going to combine such words and we are going to form a sentence so particular sentence we are forming here right and from this particular sentence from this sentence we are going to form a paragraph we are going to form a para or we are going to say that it is a paragraph in in the english language in the english language getting this point so meaning is that yes uh, we first learn the letters or we first learn the alphabets now from this alphabet so we are going to form the words right so collection of uh, more than one word collection of more than one character or one uh, more than one alphabet we are forming a word here collect now from these words now we are collecting the words together and we are forming the sentence in that particular english language now we are joining these sentences we are joining such sentences multiple sentences to form a paragraph in that particular language getting this point so meaning so in the so now come to our formal language come to our formal language or we can call it as a regular language also in our theory of computation for example in toc this is your uh, natural language for example this is the natural language in natural i mean english language we have the words then we have the uh, we have the characters or alphabet forming words words forming the sentence then the paragraph and uh, and uh, so on this uh, this is nothing but the uh, case with your natural language now in case now come to our uh, formal language or the regular languages the languages which are defined for your automata or the languages which are defined for your uh, machine for example we can have the alphabet input alphabet is equal to sigma so we have 0 comma 1 say two alphabets are there now from this 0 comma 1 we are forming uh, we are we are also going to form a string or word we are also forming a string or word that is nothing but 0 1 0 1 or it is nothing but double a and double b for example we are forming the word right and from this particular word we are going to define a language key in this particular language the strings contains more than uh, the strings contain uh, the uh, the strings must start with a and end with b or there are uh, two a's and two b so like this way we are going to define the formal language or the regular language right 
so depending upon the pattern depending upon the pattern of how the characters are organized in that particular string uh, we are going to define the language right now one important aspect we have to study here and that is nothing but the grammar that is nothing but the grammar so grammar so as, as everybody knows that is nothing but the set of rule it is nothing but the set of formal rules for generating the syntactically correct sentence from a particular language for which it is uh, written syntactically correct sentence for example again come to our natural language like english so if i write a sentence as, uh, as it is just like as it is without without inserting any full stop any semicolon without insert for example any full stop is there or semicolon is there or inverted commas is there so without any uh, or without having any uh, without having any uh, tense you have the three tense past tense then you have the future tense and uh, and uh, you have the present tense right these are the three tense are there so is is there then was is there then where so like this way then have been is there so without making use of all these grammatical rules without making use of these grammatical rules so if i try to write down the sentence if i try to write down the paragraph in the natural language like english then it is meaningless then it is meaningless or it is very hard to understand right so though, so this is nothing but this is nothing but one can say this is nothing but the material this is nothing but the material for the english language but this material how to organize this material means these words characters and all these things or even the sentences in the paragraph so how to organize it syntactically so that they gives you the correct meaning so that they give us the correct meaning that is told us by our grammar that is told us by our grammar right that is nothing but the set of rules which tells us which tells us that how to organize the sentences how to organize uh, these words properly so that so that the correct meaning will be interpreted so that the correct uh, meaning will be found uh, found out from this particular material whether it is a characters words or your sentences getting this point now the same case is true same case is true in our formal languages also so formal language also we have the grammar again uh, the meaning of the grammar is same here it is also called as the set of rules it is the set of rules but here we are not as as you know that we are not focusing on the meaning we are not focusing here and here you have the meaning or you have the uh, sin, uh, you have the semantic one can say that the meaning is important here in case of your natural language but in our formal language meaning is not important for example a a b b so this does not carry any meaning but it carries some particular format it carries certain pattern it carries certain pattern or we can call it as a particular format so our grammar our the grammar in the uh, grammar used in our uh, formal language or the regular languages that they must tells us or that gives the rules these are the rules yes there are two a and there are two b some rule is defined for this particular string or this string in other way i can say that this string is derived with the help of some rules that are already defined in the particular formal language get in this point so uh, grammar is nothing but the set of rules so we have to discuss so we are going to discuss all the uh, rules how the grammar is defined what is the context free grammar what is the uh, what exactly is the regular grammar that we are going to discuss uh, in this lecture so see it carefully a grammar is the set of rules by which uh, the valid sentences the valid sentences in a language are constructed in english grammar rules we have the sentence so how the sentences form in english language for example birds sing now this bird sing it is a combination of noun and verb it is a combination of noun so i can have this uh, this bird is a noun and sing is nothing but the verb so i can have the rule like this however using the same rule you might also produce so if it is the rule only so if uh, for example if i assume that the rule of the english language is to combine the noun and verb so i can combine the noun and verb like this wednesday sing wednesday is a noun sing is a verb so or coal mines is a noun again and sing is a another word i can generate a sentence i can generate a particular uh, sentence in the english language with the help of this noun and verb but it uh, gives me the wrong meaning but it gives me the wrong meaning or it violates the rule of the grammar so what i have to check here or what grammar in the english language checks here or where is the grammar is useful in the english language see here rules that involve the meaning of the words we call it as a semantic we call it as a semantic meaning of the word means we must get a proper meaning so birds sing yes we are combining the noun and verb and it gives us or it interprets a correct meaning 
right but if we uh, have some different argument yes we can take wednesday thing it does not carry any meaning it does not carry any sense here so semantic we have to check we in the sense the grammar check the semantic for that particular language for english language right so the rules that involve meaning of the words we call it as a semantic and the rules that do not involve the meaning of the word that is nothing but the syntax that is nothing but the syntax for example your uh, print tape for example print tape i write like this the sentence is like this and i forget to give the semicolon here i forget to give the semicolon here so your uh, c comp your c uh, c comp compiler gives you an error syntax error it gives you the syntax error ki semicolon is missing here so if i write a semicolon so it will uh, not give the uh, error message here right so syntax means how the word so this semicolon does not carry any meaning here but it carries uh, it has some format so format of this print type sentence or the pattern of the print uh, print type statement is such a way that yes print type i have to write i have to first give the opening bracket then i have to give the inverted commas whatever i have to write i have to write here then close the bracket and i have to give the semicolon right so the language the compiler checks the format it checks the format or it checks the pattern it checks the pattern of that particular string so we have to focus on the syntax we in formal languages we are focusing on the syntax and not on the semantic and what is the meaning of this uh, semicolon we are not bother about the uh, its semantic or it, uh, its meaning but we are bother about the syntax means as per the syntax or as per the defined rule that must be there as per the defined rule or as per the defined pattern that must be checked with the help of your grammar right so if we want to generate a sentence we use the following rules so sentence given us by the noun and verb it is nothing but the collection of noun and verb so i can have the nouns it is nothing but the birds and verb is nothing but sing so i can combine the noun and verb and i can found out the birds and sing uh, i can form a sentence here in english language so these rules describe how the sentence can be generated so these rules so i can say this is one rule in english language this is one rule in english language that is nothing but the sentence gives us the noun and verb so how the sentence can be generated it is given with the help of this rule this particular rule as noun followed by verb so so what is the rule so noun must be followed by the verb so first your noun will appear and then your verb will appear here getting this point so this is one rule this is one rule so like this way so there are many such rules which can be defined for english language and collectively named called as the grammar for that particular english language collectively called as the grammar for the english language getting this point okay so see here now grammar is normally consisting of two types of so now come to our formal language or the regular language or the context free language see here grammar is normally consisting of two type of basic element in the formal language or in theory of computation the grammar consists of terminal symbols and it consists of non terminal symbols or it is also called as the variable now remember it see all of you it carefully so terminal it is nothing but your terminal symbols and the non terminal symbols they are called as the variable nt t and nt remember it carefully so grammar in our a theory of computation or in case of your formal language it it consists of two major components or two main components one is terminal and other is non terminal non terminal is also called as the variable now see here the description of the terminal terminal symbols are those which are the constituents of the generated sentence which are uh, which we have generated using the grammar so terminals are nothing but your actual contents or the constituents of the generated sentence they are actual contents or are actually we can say that uh, we can say that they are constituents or they are actual the uh, actual the components of the generated sentence components of the generated sentence which we have generated using the grammar for example in the example we have the birds we have the dog we have the runs or sing these are the they are the part of the statement that's why they are called as the terminals all these are called as the terminals getting this point all they are called as the terminals because means so what we have to uh, learn here or what we have to understand here the terminals are the symbols or terminals are the part of your actual sentence terminals are the part of your actual sentence they are forming so means your sentence is nothing but the collection of terminals in other words i can say that the sentence 
in this particular language formal language it is nothing but your collection of terminals it is the collection of a uh, term right so you can observe that you can say that yes the sentence is the collection of terminals right now non terminals are nothing but your variables non terminals are the variables or non terminals uh, symbols are those which are take part in the formation of the statement which take part which are which are take part in the formation of the statement but not the part of generated statement see the read the line carefully read this particular sentence carefully non terminal or nt are the symbols that are those which are take part which take part in the formation of the statement in the formation of the statement but they are not the part of generated statement they are not the part of your generated statement so we can say that the no statement generated using the grammar will contain the non terminal right so your sentence must not contain the non terminal in the language right for example for example if we have if we have sentence gives us non noun and verb if you have the sentence gives noun verb that is nothing but your non terminals or it is nothing but your variables non terminals or variables so we can have dog runs we can have dog runs these are the terminals and we can have the birds sing these are also called as the terminals this is also called as your terminal getting this point so sentence is nothing but your so this is nothing but your rule it is nothing but your rule that sentence forming with the help of your with the help of your noun and verb with the help of your noun and verb which is called as the non terminal which is called as the non terminal here right and so uh, these are the non terminal means they are the they are telling us how to form the sentence I means these are the variables these are the variables so very simple example uh, very simple example i can tell you that in our c language for example i declare like this integer a right so integer a a is nothing but variable a is nothing but variable and a has the multiple values so you you run the program first time so uh, initially a take a equal to 5 after some time a equal to 10 after some time a equal to 15 so this 5 10 15 it is nothing but your terminals and this a is nothing but your non terminal getting this point so actually the processing is takes place for example 5 plus 5 so actually the processing is takes place on your 5 plus 5 that is nothing but your on your terminal symbol but on non terminal symbol you can have the non terminals means this variable it is not taking part in the any operation non terminal it is not going to take part in in any in, in case of any operation it is called as your non terminals getting this point so suppose if we consider this example this is the sentence this is called as the non terminals so whatever be the dogs runs or the birds sing they are all your terminal symbol which are actually the part of your sentence where which are actually uh, the part of your that particular sentence here right so therefore non terminals are essential while declaring the rules which the grammar may not be defined thus the statements are consisting of only terminals the statements they are consisting of only terminals non terminal take part in generation of these statement so non terminal takes part in generation how to generate the statement that is told by us uh, that by non non terminal right so nt told the nt told us that ki how to generate the statement how to generate the statement whereas t actually the part of that statement whereas the terminals are the actually the part of that particular statement right next point the rules of the grammar are also called as the production rules and these particular rules are they are called as the production rules so in english language the rules are for example one non terminal gives you string of non terminal or you can have one non terminal gives you the choice of terminals means you can have the so and these are called as your production rules in case of our english language we can have say for example your sentence gives you non noun and verb so it is nothing but one rule so you can have the sentence and you have different number of terminals it is another rule so these are these rules these rules with uh, which is denoted by this arrow they are called as your production rules they are called as the production rules getting this point so sentence noun verb so noun here is nothing but you can have a variable because it is noun is the variable and the value for this variable it can be your ram can be sita or can be gopal it can have it can take any value as well as your verb it can take the value uh, sings eats or uh, dances so for example you can frame a sentence like that ram sings or ram eats or ram dances or you can have the sentence second sentence like sita sings sita eats or sita dances or gopal 
saying so you can frame the sentences like this right production rule indicate possible substitution so these are the production rules that indicates the possible substitution so by applying the productions to start to start state or the symbols we may produce some finished product so these are called as the production rules in the english language these are called as the production rules in the english language where uh, you can find these are nothing but your non terminals non terminals they are giving us how to uh, these are nothing but the uh, rules and these are actually the terminals these are actually the terminals which are nothing but the which are actually taking part in the formation of that particular sentence right now let us go to the next point that is nothing but your context free grammar that is cfg context free grammar so the grammar which uh, we use in our formal languages called as the context free grammar the concept of context free grammar cr which was invented by noem kamsky in 1956 the uh, name of the inventor uh, uh, and he invented this cfg concept in 1956 it is a collection of the following things now the grammar consists of this particular things g denoted by v capital v capital t capital p and capital s right so v is nothing but the set of non terminals capital v is the set of non terminal capital t is the set of terminals capital p is the set of production rules each production rule of the form it is having the form one non terminal consist of giving you the non terminal and one non terminal it may give you the terminal string it may give you the terminal string that is non terminal gives you the non terminal as well can it can have non terminal gives you the terminal string right so start symbol start symbol from s is nothing but your start symbol s is nothing but the start symbol from the non terminals getting this point this is called the context this is called as the context free grammar it is called as the context free grammar so in this type of grammar there is a restriction that on the left hand side of the each production there should be only one non terminal so cfg uh, you can have the uh, in cfg you can have the the restriction like that on the left hand side of each production there should be only one non terminal so you can find that uh, so this uh, grammar is consist of nt gives you nt or you, you can have nt gives you t means string of terminals so context free grammar where we can have this uh, the format is like this on the left hand side you have only one non terminal and on the right hand side you can find here one non terminal or there may be string of terminals or there may be string of terminals so you can apply so you can have the restriction here the left hand side of each production there should be only one non terminal symbol getting this point okay so let us uh, stop here for this uh, today's session so uh, remaining part will be dis discussed in the Uh, next session right